the final one. We are crunching on Mr. Beast's bar. More specifically, the Mr. Beast Crunchy Bar. We are going to try this out. There is no other one I found at 7-Eleven, so I'm just gonna assume that these are all that they have. There may be more, but if, if there's more, then this is the end of uh, season one, if you will. So it looks like this, this. So it's time to crunch. Oh, I accidentally snapped off a piece of the bar in here. Anyways, it's like all the other Mr. Beast bars, it is oddly cocoa-y, I guess, which, I mean, it's chocolate, but there's like a tinge of dark chocolate. It's not a dark chocolate flavor, but you, you, it's not just plain sweetness. I kind of like it, especially since I've not really tasted crunchy flavors like this, like, or nougat-like flavors with, uh, what you gonna call it, uh, yeah, dark chocolate. So I will say, perhaps the Mr. Beast bar is slightly overpriced for their value or for how they taste, but they're pretty solid. I will say that they are pretty solid. So if you want to try them, go ahead. Okay, we're back for the final one, at least to my knowledge so far, the final Mr. Beast bar. And so today we're going to try the Mr. Beast bar. Crunch. It's gonna be crunching on Mr. Beast's bar, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> well, it's the final one, at least from what I can tell. We are crunching on Mr. Beast's bar, and <laughs> <laughs> we're at the final one. <laughs> 